So in this video, we are going to make chain mechanism in Blender. So let's start. So first select the default view, press X and delete. Now go to add, mesh and uh, click on gear gen master. You might not able to see it because you need to install this add-on first. Uh, check out the link in description. Now click on it and go here and increase the number of teeth to 15 and make sure that the module is 0.2 because I am going to do some calculation later onwards so it is necessary for it now click on the workspace press 7 now again go to add mesh gauge and master but this time the number of teeth is 30 now select this bigger teeth press G X minus 10 okay now we need to create a cylinder add mesh uh, cylinder uh, reduce scale now press G X uh, this one will go to 1.2 sorry uh, this one will go to 0.2 multiply by 15 Let me see what is 0.2 multiplied by 15. It means Cal C. So 0 0.2 into 15, 3 that is 1.5. So G X 1.5. Okay. And we need to add some circular mesh as well. So let's click on here and its radius is 1.5 make sure that radius is correct else you will face problems that onwards now click on this click on tab and select this now press g x minus 10 uh, tab select this gear press as shift as cursor to be selected now click here go to 3d cursor uh, select this chain and press tab select this press s to enter now press tab again so we can go to the edit mode now select the cylinder here select this gear first shift as cursor to be selected now then select the cylinder now press R, Z, 12, now press Shift D, R, Z, and 24, okay, and make sure that we have selected 3D cursor, okay, now select this, Shift as cursor to be selected, go to Add, Mesh, and Circle, uh, scale it to 0.2 or let's say more uh, control Z scale 0.1 uh, scale 0 0.15 uh, 0 0.15 seems good to me now press tab press F to fill press I and make a little circle like this and press 3 select this press X and delete faces I'm assuming that you know the basics of uh, blender if you don't then this tutorial is not for you shift as cursor to be selected now go to add mesh circle point uh, press S scale 0 0.15 uh, press tab press A F press I and move it a little bit and press X and delete faces. Now tab now shift uh, by pressing shift select these two press Ctrl J press tab now select this one and try to orient this line to this line okay so R Z you don't need to be perfect, okay? So don't worry about it. 
even I can't make profit most of the time. Now select this and this, press F. Select this and this, press F. F means fill. Not another F, okay? Don't take it wrong one. And tab. Oh, sorry, select all. Press E, Z. Uh, you can Z, extrude Z up to your requirements. Not necessary to copy, just mine. And after that, press uh, press A to select all. Now shift D G Z G Z. Just remember that I'm doing all this in edit mode, not in object mode. Okay. So these two basically are just one part. Now tab. Select this, shift as uh, cursor to be selected. Now select this, shift as selection to cursor. Press N, uh, R, Z. Uh, now try to orient this, okay, correctly. So R, Z. One eighty minus sixty four. No, minus one one four. Okay, minus one one four is the correct answer. Uh, to toggle between this single view mode, I have, what I have done is I have click on divide on numpad. Okay, so this is how I'm getting this. Now select this object. Now convert this into curve. Okay, so this thing is now a curve. And now select this. Go to add modifier, click on array. Uh, you can see this is a going downwards. I don't want that. So what you can do is uh, select this, press con uh, sorry, select this by pressing control A, all transforms. Now try to add array modifier. You can see it's working great now. Now by pressing shift, now try to adjust it. Okay. Now increase the number of counts. Let's say 60, I guess will work. Now go to curve modifier and select the circle. Uh, let's see where is the problem. R Z seven scale X so yeah it's work fine uh, similarly in this way you can add slenders as well uh, this uh, cylindrical holes now how to animate this now i'm going to use driver so it might be some difficult for others so i will try my best now select this gear okay uh, first press ctrl a click all transforms now right click on here click on copy as new driver select this right click on z uh, click on paste drive paste drivers now go here and uh, uh, drivers select this zeduler and drivers uh, click here script expression uh, divided by two so when i rotate this you see that one is also rotating so let's make it to one or zero You see when it is 89 it is 44.5 so let's go to zero now the, now the next thing is difficult one so i need to animate this change so how i can animate so watch carefully so select this and i want to move it in x direction so right click on it click on uh, paste drivers 
Axe location. Now go to drivers. Click on scripted expression. Uh, now minus one. Multiply by one point four nine 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 nine. Now select this. If I rotate it, you can see it's working. So a question is how the hell I know that is one point five five five. So I have done some mathematical calculation. Uh, I am a mechanical engineer, so I don't know how many will you like to know the mathematical calculation. It's a little bit complex because I have used gears as well as uh, this thing and some interpolation method. Remember, I have done everything from a pap on a paper, not on Blender. So if anybody is interested, uh, tell me. I will make a separate video on it. So here you can see I have made the gear chain. Now let's do some shading part. Uh, let's give some color. Uh, let's little black. Select this. Red. I guess look good. Metallic. Roughness uh, zero. Select this. Uh, blue. Metallic. Roughness. Mm, looks good. Now go to mesh plane scale tab select this edge E Z extrude seven. Tabs like this G X move it is center of it now add cap select so first delete this camera we don't want it or you can use this camera but I'm going to add a new camera camera select like this now uh, click on Z press zero move it backward and x and if i click on render image i will get a blue image because there is no lightning so i need to add lightning as well so plus zero select this and add new okay and here I can also add lightning. Two is fine, I guess. Render image. Hmm, looks good. Uh, now try to do some animation here. So timeline. Select this gear. I rotation. Move it to sixty seconds. Also made it sixty. Now. R Z uh, uh, let's say 360 I rotation now if I play this you will see it's a you know ugly type not a good one so to make it more correct select this press T click on linear it will look now much better a constant speed okay now if you press 0, now it's look better. Now click on render image. So you see it's look much better now. Now if I do animation, uh, just save the animation, okay. So let's make it CHCG, FPMG. Uh, you can see what other settings I preferred. Now 24 FPS is good. I am not going to use 60 FPS. I have a potato laptop, so not even a chance. And I'm using, you know, a bloom. Remove the bloom. Bloom is not good for us. Uh, I guess this now look good. Look good. So now click on render animations, and it's done. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, make sure that you ask in comments. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Namaste.